Hello and welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Battletech, uh, the Swan Song campaign. My name is Saiken, and today we're going uh, to run the campaign where everything's set onto Ultra Hard, aka Swan Song. We're on the last bits of uh, this particular campaign. Just want to show you a few missions, uh, this time with Contagion and potentially a pirate mission. We're juggling the reputation of both of them. Capellian Confederation already likes us, and now we want to get it onto the higher, even higher honored status. And the local pirate organization absolutely loves us. So, yeah, both of them will go a bit back and forth. The cool part about this mission here is it has 24 loot. So, you can already assume that that is something I'd be interested to, uh, to get. We are running short on pilots, so maybe if someone takes another hit, uh, that will be the fast end of the whole story. But let's not get carried away. We got the Atlas II here, which is a powerhouse uh, in itself. It has 550 damage and therefore rival, pretty much rivals the Bull Shark and even exceeds the Annihilator. So Atlas number two, um, which is potentially the best mech in uh, the game with automatically dual heatsink models. So it sinks 60 heat. And we got the Atlas one, which is our sort of LRM boat. Uh, got two LRM 15s in here, but the guy also has a bit closer ranged options. Com system, triple plus, com system, triple plus, com system, single, and com system, single. So we should be fine. We got a lot of lost tech, of course. Not a perfect lance by any stretch of the imagination, but if you drop 395 tons, you are definitely in the end game. There is no two ways around it, and we're going to roll over the space. And hopefully, there are going to be quite a few like heavy mechs that uh, we can uh, that we can salvage. I'm expecting quite a bit out of so much salvage. Pretty good. Time to destroy a base. And time to drop like 400 tons of steel onto these fools. All we need to do is destroy all of the defenders. How difficult should that be? Not very much. Not with our highly, highly trained max. Heading out. All right. We're standing and waiting. Light mech, medium mech, and some heavy assault mech. Interesting. There's nothing in. Oh, yeah, there's something in the heavy category. Okay, the Atlas II moves up. And what we got? The Centurion. <laughs> A Centurion. Well, I can tell you what they do not have. A chance. Center Torso. Affirmative. Alright, that was almost a one-shot kill. The towers will counteract but that's fine i don't mind atlas moves up time to get that centurion down but we're multi-targeting because i already want to prep that zoo zeus over there did the guy really survive? Disappointing. Okay. Waiting for order. Ah, 
All right, multi shot. Oh, this is only a few hits are needed. So B B B B B, and I think one shot with a shotgun will actually do the trick. Well, let's see. Uh -huh. I was right. And the Zeus takes a lot of damage. Fantastic. That must be a tower. Or a vehicle. Super heavy LRM tower, potentially. Annihilator moves up. Zeus is being targeted. And the LRM-15 of the Zeus is already gone. He's unsteady. He's in the open. So that guy's going down soon. Barely hit, Commander. Good. Our Atlas is now taking a bit of damage. Okay, that hurt. We're going to go for Vigilance. Another round of tanking will be fine. And I think we're going to be okay. UAC, uh, we're going to let it pause for a moment. The UAC guns have a huge refiring penalty. So, of course, we're being careful there. Zeus is moving in. Yes, Commander. We'll go. Annihilator takes a chance to Engaging really target. eradicate the Zeus. Target eliminated. Fantastic. What can I do for you? All right, Hatchet Man is, I think, the only real subject that we could hit. Thumper Cannon could hit both. Is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, yeah, why not? 50% of their forces are already gone. Just look at the damage. Atlas pretty much ignores the LRM-20s at this point. But yeah, Catapult lost a good 30%. Whilst the Hatchet Man is almost completely stripped. Good. We're going to engage with the Hatchet Man. Pilot injured. The guy has just lost a leg. No, almost. Commander. Atlas 2 moves a tiny bit back. Continuing to use vigilance. And let's finish that headshot, man. See, that's the beauty of Assault Max. Even, like, compare this here to our medium mag lands of the last mission, where I needed to reposition, find the right spots. Okay, well, of course, we're now taking injuries. Commander. 
just compared, right? So this time it's, it, with some of uh, in some of the situations we're not even forced to make the right decision because you can just core them. Awaiting orders. Good to go. Push up, moves up. Pays the price for it. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here, Commander. Moving Annihilator up. moves up. Oh, let's see. Heavy LRM turret. Roger that. Single hit. Didn't Come kill on, it. People, let's make it happen. Nope. Can't really reach any of these guys. That's annoying. Engaging target. One less turret. Yeah, one disadvantage of this lance here is we're not particularly good at long range. But then again, this um, the way that BattleTech works, at least the computer hey, game BattleTech, is you really don't need Go. that. Maps are typically too small. Firing everything I've got. So there's a huge incentive bang, for bang. just stacking up armor and sort of yes, commander. moderate right. uh, moderate ranged weapons. Roger that. Roger that. Don't need to tell me twice. Move order received. Standing by. Just out of curiosity, this year. Should kill two of the buildings, plus potentially one of those towers. I love the thumper. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Bracing for impact. Aye, aye. Move order confirmed. Roger that. Okay, that was a bit of an overkill. I'm the first one to admit that. Flatten that one. I hear ya. Target marked. Leopard inbound, Commander. I'll meet you at the LZ. Waiting for orders. Warning. All right. Enemy reinforcements Moves up. Oh, we're really fighting against reinforcements. You must be kidding me, right? Commencing alpha strike. No. They are serious. There are a few reinforcements. Bye -bye. Okay, given that we can loot. There is absolutely no incentive to not kill the reinforcements. Waiting on you, Commander. You betcha. Now I would love to have that thumper just for some upfront damage we hit all four of them seems like we're having a medium kind of a few heavies and two assault mechs over there okay fair enough on the move standing by Roger. Okay. A battle master. Okay, cool. Ready for order. 
Nah, we're just sprinting to get a bit closer. On the move. We don't have a pure LRM boat. All right, a quick draw, fair enough. We continue to focus on our Atlas yes, too. And I'm totally okay with them doing that. Vigilance for 60% damage reduction. That Battlemaster needs to die. There's yet another other uh, another Battlemaster. Damn it, I should have not wasted the Thumper. This here would be such a nice hit. Yeah. Right, multi shot. Starting with that battlemaster, and the remaining shots will go to the other battlemaster. Here we go. Time for a little bang, bang. Spray shots, by the way, nicely reducing the evasion blips of all of the others. Yeah, and the Atlas is still standing. Commander. Forty five per cent. I don't like that. On the move. Annihilator moves up, vigilance so that we can act first for them. Engaging target. Structure of that guy is exposed. And the bull shark moves up and we're definitely going to continue hitting the Battlemaster. Another hit like that and you're toast. Side torso explosion and he's highly unstable. Good. Annihilator. Moving to position. Moves in. And we are continuing to actually kill this battlemaster here. Affirmative. Target's taking a critical hit. He is now knocked down. Damage minimal. And it seems that they have forgotten about our Atlas too. Ready for orders. Locking in. Moving a tiny bit back. USC five is disabled. Vigilance just in case. And let's kill that Battlemaster. All right, fantastic. Good, one down. The whole mission started relatively easy, and now we're fighting against Taking minimal damage. a serious opposition here. Waiting for orders. All right, the second atlas. Multi target. That guy looks good, and that guy looks good. All 
Okay, here we go. I got him. A couple of heavier shots onto the quick draw. Who has now lost evasive? Might as well be the target that we're hitting next. The Battlemaster is open to be cored. I don't know, the bull shark just has such nice odds of hitting that that quick draw. Yeah. Needed to do that. He was on unsteady ground. So with us being able to hit it. Really he lost half of his weapons. And needed to get up, which also means he's just not doing that much this round. Receiving you. Confirmed. Vigilance and let's core the battle master. <laughs> Target neutralized. Oh yeah. Our mechs are getting better and better. And remember, this is like he he um, hardest difficulty. And that's already the second lance that we're engaging. Took a hard hit there. Quick yes, draw man. is trying their best to be annoying all right before we're Waiting getting into order. melee right bull shark is moving up this quick draw here definitely needs to be right taught a lesson there, there we go figure right. that that would work aye, aye. right here Melee attack. And some lasers. That reduces two blips and deals a lot of damage. So kind of a, yes, a highly effective way of uh, dealing with, uh, with uh, jump jets. And we'll let's hit this guy. And hit it well. No retreat! You'll get one more action, and that will be it. Poor choice. Poor choice. Holding firm. Waiting for order. Very poor choice. I copy. Precision strike. With everything. <laughs> Excuse me, and he is down. Okay, short of the thumper, which was yeah a bit of a short-sighted maneuver. Everything else actually worked relatively well. Bit of a downer because we got hit once. And that means Reaper is now going to be off for a bit. But let's take a look. We actually received quite a bit of loot here. Battlemaster, not bad. The catapult is okay, but it's the wrong catapult. It's not the one that I like. Zeus is fine. Hatchet man fin uh, finishing that guy. Another battle master. I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. No plus plus loot and nothing. Good. But yet, a yet another 18 million credits worth of loot.
and a couple of mechs are finished. Good, Hatchetman and Catapult are both with us. Hatchetman is an interesting one, we already have seen it a couple of times. It has this hatchet with plus 70 melee damage, so if you can and make it work with uh, jump jets and so on, it could actually be an interesting mech and maybe in, um, I, I already thought about making guide videos and then asking you guys what kind of mechs you want to see in, in terms of specific guides. Maybe that could be one that is interesting for now. He'll go right into the storage and the catapult, same deal. Catapults, highly efficient in being an LRM boat. But since the archers came out in the expansion in the DLC, they lost a bit of their appeal. Typically what you can do with it is, I mean, you do have something along the lines of an LRM-20 here and an LRM-20 here, right? And then you're just going with 160, but you're trying to do as much stability damage as you can. And you would try to take kind of a missile system if you can fit it. Elsewise, since the LRMs are super hungry, It'll be potentially along the lines of this and chucking off some more armor. It's a decent mech. You can put two small lasers in here and replace that with LRM-15s. It's not bad. I mean, by no stretch of the imagination. But we already have heavier and better um, LRM boats, so thanks but no thanks. 11 days until Hawkbite is back in business and now we're in that strange spot where I originally wanted to do some more contracts here. But maybe the right way of going about it is really going for the final standoff sooner than later. It is 34 days though and we need some more cash so can't just do that. This here is a new um, flash point that just arrived. Potentially not going to do uh, to do that, but just want to show it. There is another one over here. Both of them would definitely work. The ones against the pirates, I wouldn't do. But yeah, so we gotta bite the bullet and just wait 11 days. I'm not a big fan of waiting until someone comes back. Yeah, Federated Sons doesn't matter. Job's done, Commander. Good. And we got enough Mac Warriors to now jump into another mission. One that pays very well. Let's take a quick one. Destroy base usually takes a bit longer. This one here pays over a million. So might as well reserve that little one uh, salvage, but elsewise just get our funds up. And we are going to go in with Hawkbite uh, box and Tygen will ride the Annihilator. So yeah, overall I think that's a uh, Oh, it's a good team. We're fighting in jungle, not the preferred biome for those heavy mechs, but I think we will manage. And reminder to myself, the 
Orion here needs some work, so that's definitely something that we need to do after we deploy. For now, let's get into the next mission. Time for the second mission. Let's drop and see how well our newfound team is going to do. I am still a bit miffed about the 11 days that we needed to wait until everybody got back in shape. But at least we're getting some more action. Confirmed. Only got to destroy an enemy patrol. That should actually be not a big problem at all. Affirmative. Charging in. On my way. Let's see. What are we going to fight against? Ready to rock. Well, so far. Acknowledge. It's a few mechs, and that's all. I've got a, sensor a battle master, which seems to be the newfound standard mech. Got something you want done? All right, moving up. Speed there in the chip. We're using Vigilance just so that the Atlas here is safe. And let's hit this guy. 40% damage reduction is quite a bit, but at least we Commander. scored a hit to the head. Headshot. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Thumper cannon? Can we make something happen? Yeah, that will be only two hits. I want a bit more than that. So we're going to brace with a bull shark, 40% damage reduction. And we're also going to move in with the Atlas too. Couple of shots, not bad. Light max. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Good, more reinforcements on the way, that is fine. Yeah, but I would guess we're fighting against two lances again. That's potentially a trebuchet. Hit, Commander. Orders. All right, now let's wait with the Atlas. Let, let them move up. Roger that. Standing by. Really oh what all right Bradford took a head to the hit to the head gotta wait for that last one what are your orders, Skipper? to actually move up I got you. in the meantime the oh it was a catapult interesting in the meantime let's go for the catapult The Annihilator. Just course it. Level damage. And that was that. Might even be a headshot. Reporting. Serious armor loss. What? That is not a serious armor loss. Commander. All right, moving up, Atlas. And we're going for the Battlemaster next. Ready for orders. Continue to move up with the Atlas too. The Battlemaster is now going to take 
a massive beating. Holy shit. This mech here does not seem to move. I don't like it. Good. We're just moving up the bull shark, even if it is not fully in cover. Copy that. And that battlemaster is potentially moving, uh, falling over. Yep. Yep. Alright, so it's a light mech that we're fighting against. Commander, I'm wounded. This is unreal. He has received a second headshot. Okay, this here is a nice area for a thumper at the same time. Just cleaning up the Battlemaster would also be an option. All of the, those shots here do not mean a lot. Yeah, let's go with Ty again here. And this should seal the deal. Reporting. Critical hit. All right, the Battlemaster, for whatever reason, still survived the uh, attempt to core it. Decides to move into the open. Location and we're going for a multi target. target locked. But the battle master indeed is almost down. Standing by. Bushark moves up, Vigilance for the defense, and let's just destroy this Javelin. Target neutralized. Good. Target neutralized. Fantastic. There is a Wolverine over here. The shots aren't too good, but we might be able to kill it. Three hit points, yeah, we're going to kill that one with a multi shot. Engaging target. Oh, hell yeah, it's on now. Reporting. Minimal damage. All right. Damage minimal. Got to deal with the Battlemaster and that Wolverine. And that way we should be damage secure minimal. and shouldn't take any damage from the extra hits. This here is a fantastic thumper location, by the way. Atlas moves there, Vigilance.
Yeah, I don't like it, but we potentially will need to save some... Save some energy, and we're just going to take a couple of shots. Destroying the core, that's fine. Because he would have taken an action on one, and I'll need the bull shark for a thumper. Atlas can continue to take all of the hits with 60% damage reduction. There is really not much happening. Waiting for orders. Thumper cannon almost reaches all three of these guys. Aye, aye. Moving up for 40% damage reduction, and this here is exactly what we're going to do. Oh yeah, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. All right, Annihilator, 90% shot. Let's core this guy. Critical hit. Well, Rain took a couple of hits, Good to go. but not the kill. Move order received. The Using the other Atlas. And that finally breaks line of sight. Now they can't use their long range missiles, so the LRMs are useless. They are moving up. There's another one. Now let them act first, please. Standing by. Orders. All right. Atlas moves up. Racing. Yep. Annihilator oh, sprints. Yes, command. Mox. Sprints as well. Receiving you. Roger. And the bull shark just braces. We're going to use another thumper soon. Redford actually received the third hit to the head. Okay, we gotta move him back. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I don't want to lose a pilot just due to random chance. Confirming that second mortar. I still hit, by the way. Move on out. All right, let's go, Jaeger Mac. Good, that guy is taken out. Inflicted some heavy damage. Atlas moves up. Let's get all of the weapons ready to go. Engaging target. And that second Jaeger just Destroyed. went down like it is a nothing. I'm there. Annihilator. Annihilates the guy. Good, we gotta sprint down. Standing by. We leave the thumper behind. Confirm. Too risky to take that random hit. Full throttle. Speed the cake. Okay. 
Moving up. Orders. Enemy essentially does Up nothing. Ready for orders. Full throttle. Atlas moves yep. up. Moving to position. Waiting for orders. Hunkering down. Okay, what an alpha strike. Reporting. But then again, the Griffin, what is he supposed to do, right? Look at the amount of damage that he's already taken. Moving up, precision strike. Like all of this here is just due to the mortar. Fantastic. Aye, aye. On my way, double time. Taking Good, we've got one enemy. Orders. That's slowly but surely running out of options. What are we dealing with? A Vindicator, okay. Something I can do. Consider it done. Fire. Couple of really solid hits there. Full throttle. Bracing for impact. All right, so that's the one shot that he'll get. And now he's pretty much toast. Annihilator walks up, and Annihilator does what an Annihilator does best, I'm which on. is to annihilate. Target down. Cool. Successful. Besides the hits for Bradford, which were actually quite nasty, um, everything else worked relatively well. Good. Almost a million credits. Bradford is out for 45 days. Oh, that is bad. Yeah, we're finishing our Battlemaster. So yeah, that in a nutshell also means Bradford's potentially not available for the five school flashpoint. I think it was 32 days uh, to travel there. But yeah, it is what it is. I guess all things considered, before going through... Uh, before going through too many extra missions, I think I want to uh, finish the campaign with a five star or five school grand finale. So we got another mech here, another assault mech, the Battlemaster. Not a bad mech. I like it. It has a lot of laser um, hard points. Which makes it quite valuable. The Orion here can continue to stay kind of our second heavy mag. And we can make it a brawler. SRMs. A couple more medium lasers. There and there. What are we dealing with? 100. Okay. And I think any sort of decent weapon, USC 10, could be that. Oh, that's overloading it. Do we have anything in the store?
Yeah, only got AC tens. That is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Do we have a marauder in here? No, because we were only missing one piece of the marauder and it would have been good to showcase that guy one more time. So we could either leave it as is, but that would be a waste in terms of firepower. Or we're going to go with UAC-10. But that's potentially a bit uh, too heavy in terms of weight. So we can go with an AC-10. Yeah. How do we deal with this guy? Let me try a couple of things. Okay, not the perfect setup by any stretch of the imagination, but quite a bit of firepower. 270 is good for the beginning. Uh, the heat efficiency is not as bad as, as it looks because the UAC-10 needs to have an round off every, sing uh, every now and then. Ammunition is okay. It could go while and the four standard lasers will just do fine. So I would say that is an okay setup. Right. I'll get it in the skip. So that kind of brings us to the decision to not prolong the run too much. And instead go to the standoff and do the five school flashpoint. I'll travel there and the next time that we're going to uh, continue this episode is when we're right there. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, appreciate your support. If you like Battletech, feel free to leave a comment down below and see you very soon. Bye-bye.